Hello there guys, this is Kirob speaking. Today I'm going to show you the second tutorial mission of the upcoming demo release of Automation. Alright, so let's get started. The second tutorial mission is called Flying Debris, or Debris if you prefer that, and is all about building a reliable engine. As normal for the tutorial scenarios, you start out with a pre-built engine, which has some kind of problem. And in this case, as you might guess from the title of this tutorial mission, it has reliability issues. So let's see what happens. Oh, ouch. Okay, so a bottom end part has failed because it reached its maximum RPM limit. And, um, well, this made the engine fail, so we have a lifetime of exactly 0.0, .0 megarevs, which is not too good. <coughs> and we are about to change this in this scenario. So, let's take a look at the limitations. Um, first of all, we have the manufacturing year set to between 2000 and 2010. And this is something new which has to be explained. This is basically measure of technology year. It says manufacturing year here, but it's still a bug. So, if you are currently in year 2000 and you build an engine part in that year to the standards you're currently having, then you will reach a an average quality part for this production. If you want to produce to standards which are in the future, so to higher standards, you will have to invest more man hours. If you want to produce a part to standards lower than the current year standard, then you will save man hours. But man hours are basically just a measure of cost. So let's take a look in the technical specifications. Do we spot cost here? No, we don't. So what do we want to do? just make it as good as possible so we use the maximum value for all the tabs you can choose this technology here for every single tab and in several scenarios this is actually vital that you choose different settings for every tab but in this one everything at max will do okay so we had an engine which failed due to a bottom end part failure and this is probably due to this part it has a maximum RPM of very low and a maximum torque of very low. But the engine was not revving to very low RPM, but 9500 RPM, which is not really low for an inline-4 engine. So we got to change that. Um, because there is no cost restraint, I would say just go for the best parts there are. Right? Cannot hurt. Then we have also the stroke value. But I don't like changing this one yet, even though a lower stroke value would make the engine more reliable because the speed of the piston and um, the movement inside the engine is restricted by a shorter stroke. But it also will reduce the engine's capacity and thus its power output. So leave it at that for the moment. The other option on this tab is the flywheel, or more specifically, the flywheel mass. A heavy flywheel, this here over here is the flywheel, a heavy flywheel will smoothen out the power produced by the engine. And a heavy flywheel will also make the uh, engine live longer because it reduces the vibrations. So it makes it smoother and it should make the engine last longer. A flywheel mass, which is lower on the other hand, will increase responsiveness of the engine and lower smoothness and lower lifespan. So in this case we want to go for a maximum setting here. As you can see here, before we run the engine again, we 
probably would like to change the fuel type to see where we at because in this scenario we are supposed to use the regular unleaded fuel so I will go for that notice the 91 RON which we have here and let's test the engine to see what happens okay we are starting out alright so we don't have severe knocking at least Okay, the engine lives! It didn't blow up anymore, so we have solved that problem. But we added a new one, which is a very slight knocking of the engine, because we are 0.1 above the allowed run value for that kind of fuel. Um, and we will have a go at that. But before, we have to take a look at the top end tab and see what we can change. As we have learned in the previous tutorial, uh, we know how to change the RON requirement by changing compression. And also we have learned that we can produce more power by adjusting the CAM profile to a higher value. Right now we are at a value of 70, which is pretty high. While hi uh, making the CAM profile a higher value means that you get more power out of the engine at higher torques, uh, at higher RPMs. A lower CAM profile will increase or optimize the engine for lower RPM and thus allow for running at lower RPM on average because that's where the torque is. So you will have much more power already from lower RPM values. So let's try to set this at 30. A normal CAM profile so to say. And we can just to avoid knocking completely. We just changed compression down a bit and we can later on modify this value again to make final optimizations. Let's run the engine again. We should see that the power curve and the torque curve change drastically. So we reach the maximum torque value already at 3000 RPM. What we did forget to change is the maximum RPM value, as you can see here. Ouch! Yes, this doesn't look too good. Um, you should change the RPM limiter, probably. And... Oh, why? That's, that's pretty insane. The engine is still knocking, even though we put it down that much. The cam profile also makes you require, a lower cam profile makes you require a higher on setting. Um, so yeah, right, we change the fuel tab now, or first the top end and get down on compression still a bit more. Then we go to the fuel system and see what we can do here. Right, so we have a very rich fuel mixture, which is fine because we do not have an economy requirement here. Uh, ignition timings are high, we want to produce a lot of power, that's fine as well. And we have the RPM limiter at some insane value still for this engine. So what we want to do is to change this down to... Well, what do we want to change to? Right now we're reaching maximum power at 5500 RPM, as you can see here. So if we put the limiter at 5600 RPM, that should be fine. We do that. And run the engine again and see where we end up. We're starting out a bit higher, that's because we got rid of the knocking. Shape remains the same. And success! That's a pretty good engine. Silver rank. Okay, this concludes this little tutorial mission and um, have a good one. See you. Bye.